Hannah, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a review on the wig brand, I'm Style Wigs. So a couple of you guys have already seen my wigs on Instagram, which would be this pink one that I have posted a few Instagram photos of, and a bunch of people have already commented that they're really excited for my review on this brand. So I have three wigs now from this brand. I am wearing one of them. I have the pink one that's been in a couple of my Instagram photos, and then I have this teal one with a dark, kind of bluish root. This one that I'm currently wearing is a gray blue style wig that's kind of like an ombre. It goes from purple at the root all the way down. So a few things that I would like to touch on on these wigs is they are lace front wigs. These three that I have here are lace fronts. So in my last wig review video from Charisma Wigs, I touched on the fact that those wigs were not lace fronts and how the difference in hairline makes a huge difference and those wigs don't look as realistic as a lace front wig will. So these ones are lace front wigs. So there is lace that comes all the way around them. So I've already cut off the lace to go with my hairline. So this matches me a little bit more. I'm not the best at cutting the lace off of wigs. So if it doesn't look as real as it could, that's just because I'm an amateur when it comes to removing the lace from the wig. Also side note, please ignore the sound in the background. I live on a pretty busy street, but it's really warm right now. So I have to keep my window open or I would sweat my wig off. <laughs> I'm not an expert when it comes to wigs. So the hairline isn't as realistic looking as I would hope that it would be, but that's just because I do not have it glued down because I'm going to be switching the wigs around. You can get spirit gum or wig glue and glue them down to make them look a little bit more realistic. There's a bunch of things you can definitely do to make your wigs look more real if they are a lace front. This one is just thrown on because I'm going to be removing it and showing you guys the other wigs that I have. But I would say that this wig looks pretty realistic considering I don't have it glued down. I've not done anything other than remove lace and brush it. Another thing to mention with these wigs, when you first get them and you remove the lace and you put them on and you just start playing with them and styling them and brushing them, don't be alarmed if they do shed a little bit at the beginning. These wigs in particular do shed. So you can see here, there is a little bit of shedding coming out of these wigs and that's just really normal for when you first get a wig. You brush it and style it. You're gonna get a little bit of shedding. It usually stops within the first couple of hours of you wearing the wig though. That's what I found with this wig. It shed really bad at the beginning and then it stopped and it hasn't shed since. So I'm really, really glad that it stops. A lot of wigs at the beginning though, when you first start wearing them and getting them, they will shed a little bit and that's very normal. So don't be alarmed if you get a wig that sheds really badly. Another thing you can get if you do have a wig that sheds really badly is a easy track wept sealer. So you can use this wept material, it's kind of like a glue, inside the wig cap to keep your hair from falling out of it. So I have used this on a few wigs I got a long time ago. I used to get Charisma wigs off of Amazon all the time and they shed really badly. So I got this to stop the shedding and it does work. So I will list this down below in my description box if I can find it. I just got this at my local wig store in town, but that's something that you can do if you do have a wig that you really like that sheds really badly. So keep that in mind, but most wigs at the beginning will shed a little bit and then it usually stops. That's just my experience with wigs. So this wig is really, really pretty. It's a very, very long wig. So I ordered a mystery box of wigs. So I actually contacted the company and I asked them if they would be interested in working with me and reviewing some of their wigs on my channel. I didn't ask for any money. I didn't ask for a discount on the wigs or anything. I just asked that if I did the mystery box, if I could choose the wigs that they send me because on their website, they have the mystery box listed and has all of the options of the wigs that they could send you. So I just asked them if I could pick the two that I would get in the mystery box and then I would do a video for them and let them know what my opinion was and my review on them because I already knew that I really liked this wig and I ordered this wig completely separate about two weeks ago. So. I contacted the company, they agreed, they let me choose the two wigs that were available in the mystery box and I chose this one and this one. So I have a really long style kind of gray purple root wig and then I have a shorter bob style because I'm really into bobs lately, which is just a teal wig. So those are the two that I chose and they agreed to send me these ones and the shipping was very quick. So they do ship with FedEx, so the shipping is not unreasonable at all. I believe it was only like $10. if. It was less than that, I'll post it on the screen here, but it was very inexpensive and it's very quick. Usually when I order wigs through wig companies, it takes a couple of weeks for the wig to get to me because I'm in Canada, but this was literally like I ordered it last week and it's already here. Like it was maybe three days I waited for this wig to show up. So I'm really, really impressed with the shipping alone. The shipping was amazing. I highly recommend ordering from this brand just for the shipping 
amazing, just amazing. So this was the wig that I got in the mystery box. So this is the longer one that I chose and it's really, really pretty. I did have a little trouble at the beginning trying to style it and get it to match the photo. So I'll post the photo here of what the wig looks like on the website, just because I was trying to figure it out. When I put it on, it was like parted right down the middle and it looked really, really odd. And I was like, um, how does this work? So I looked up the photo and I figured out, oh, the part is actually on the side. You can make the part look a little bit more realistic if you're good with hair, but I'm really not. So that's why I wear wigs because I don't want to style my natural hair and I suck at it. So I just kind of played with it a little bit until I found a position that kind of looked semi-decent in how I wanted it to look. And that's what I went with tonight. So this is what this wig looks like. Obviously, if you're pulling this wig up and playing with it, the lace is gonna lift. So you really should get a spirit gum or wig glue to pin it down if you're going to be styling this wig other than just wearing it normal because when you wear it normal, the lace will stay down obviously, like right here. It's all around my hairline, it's staying down. But if you were to style this into a different hairstyle, you probably would have to glue it down or something to keep it so that the lace stays down flat or else you may run into trouble. <laughs> so I would say this wig is really, really pretty. I'm really, really happy that I ordered this one and picked this one. I think this one will be really fun to style and play with, even if you're just like doing like a half ponytail or half up down style or whatever. I think this is a really, really gorgeous wig and I'm really excited that I ordered this. So their wigs on their website are about $90. I'll post the retail price on the screen here. They are very, very inexpensive considering the quality of the wig that you are getting. And I got this in the mystery box. So I actually got two wigs for the price of one. I paid about 90 Canadian and I got two wigs, whereas this wig alone was about $90. So the mystery box is really cool. It's really fun. I like the fact that it's just a mystery. Besides me, because I contacted the company, you don't usually get to choose which wigs that you want. So because I asked them if they would work with me, um, I got to choose the wig. So I'm really thankful for that. So thank you guys so much for letting me choose my wigs and agreeing to work with me. They actually followed me on Instagram too, which is really cool because I'm obsessed with these wigs. These wigs are beautiful. So this is the purple and gray one. So now I'm going to remove it and put on the blue one just so you guys can see what the blue one looks like. Before I do that, obviously, the inside of the wig cap looks like this. It has the two clips on the side, which is very, very standard. And it has the one clip at the bottom and it's just a beige wig cap. And it is a very, very long, curly wig. So this is gonna be one that I actually do have to glue it down if I wanna wear it because the lace is lifting and I've never had a wig do this before. So it won't lay flat. Usually the lace will sit flat on my forehead and it'll look realistic, whereas this one is lifting a little bit right here. So I'm not that impressed with this wig. I have been trying to style it and play with it and find a position that actually looks good and makes sense. And so far I haven't really been satisfied with any of the positions that I've been moving the hair into. Every time I try to move the hair to one side, the lace lifts. And if I move it to the other, the lace lifts again. And it's just not really working with me. And I'm kind of disappointed in this wig. Really liking the shorter style wigs that are bobs and curly like this. But this one just didn't really meet my expectations. And it's kind of getting tangled a lot faster than I was hoping that it would. This one sheds really, really badly. Um, it's been shedding since I've been trying to style it and play with it, like I said, with the other wig. It will stop shedding after a little while, but this one is shedding really badly. And that is kind of annoying because I'm constantly having to pull hair off of me. But this one is just not working as well as I was hoping it was going to. It's really just not sitting on my forehead properly. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know maybe if I just need to pull it down or if it just needs to like fit my head a little bit better. I'm not too sure, but it's starting to lift right here and it's kind of driving me crazy. I mean, the solution is literally just to glue it down, but like I said, because I'm going to be playing around with different wigs tonight and taking photos and taking them on and off, I don't want to glue it down because I won't be able to get it off right away and I just don't want to do that. But I would say that this one isn't as amazing as I was hoping it was going to be. I strongly prefer this one. This one is a lot prettier <laughs> in my opinion and it works a lot better. I don't know if it's just this wig or what the issue is, but it's just not sitting on my head as nicely as I was hoping it was going to. And I'm a little bit bummed out about that. But other than that, it is still a really pretty wig. It is a lace front wig. So besides the fact that the lace is lifting right there, the hairline does look pretty realistic. I just can't quite figure out a position to put the hair into that is going to look good. I'm trying to make it so that it doesn't look as fake as it does because I don't really like the part being like right down the middle. But every time that I try to move the hairline around, the lace shows. So 
I don't know, this is going to be a wig that I'm going to have to play with a little bit and style a little bit because it's just not working that well for me. <laughs> but like I said, this was part of a mystery box, so this one just isn't the best wig in my opinion. I definitely prefer the longer one. It fits a little bit better on my forehead. And I don't know, this one I'm just not that impressed with. The lace just does not fit me at all, which kind of sucks because I really, really wanted a short blue one like this, but it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with it and style it a little bit, but I'm pretty disappointed with this one, so there's that. So I'm gonna take this one off. Just a side note, now that I have the wig on properly and I have used the spirit gum to glue it down, it actually does look pretty realistic. I don't recommend using spirit gum unless you have this spirit gum remover though, which I did check to make sure that I had before I used it because I would be stuck with spirit gum on my skin and I don't wanna do that. Um, so this wig actually does look pretty realistic. Now that I have it glued down and it's not lifting anymore, it was really annoying me when it was lifting and I really couldn't get like a proper photo of it without it looking really weird or me having to edit it out and I don't wanna do that. But I do think that the style of this wig is really cute. Like I said though, I definitely prefer the pink wig just because it has a lot less hair and the curls are really different. This one is still really, really pretty. I did brush it out a little bit, but I do think that this is a really pretty wig. The style is really gorgeous. It is shedding though. Like I said, it's probably gonna shed for a couple of hours of wearing it. So keep that in mind. This is very normal. I do think that these wigs are really pretty and I'm just overall really happy that I ordered them. This one looks the most realistic. It is the most fun. It is so cute. My actual real hair is out a little bit here. I don't have the straps uh, pinned down because my head is not that big actually so I don't really need to make it smaller or bigger. It's just fine how it is. This wig is so beautiful. I absolutely love this wig. I love the style of this wig. I love the length of this wig. I like the fact that the lace actually sits on my forehead and it looks realistic and it doesn't look fake at all. It looks absolutely beautiful. I can play with this one and move the hair around. And as you can see, it's lifting a little bit. That's just, again, because I don't have it glued down. But you can play with these wigs and style them, make them look really, really cute in different hairstyles. You probably just need to glue some of the hair that is closer to the wig like the wig cap and the lace you may just have to glue those parts down but you can definitely style these wigs and play with them this one is my absolute favorite if this brand ever watches this video I really really hope you guys make more in this style because the style is so stunning and so cute even with this one I found that this was just a little bit too much hair for the bob style I prefer wigs that are like this that are a little bit lighter and just so cute oh my god i'm obsessed with this wig this wig is my absolute favorite but it doesn't really go with my eye look tonight so i'm not really going to be taking photos wearing this wig tonight because it really just doesn't match the kind of low-key vibe that i was going on i did this look with the idea of having this wig on so i would say all in all this brand is really great if you're looking for lace front wigs that are not that expensive. This is a really awesome brand. I found this brand just on Instagram because Alexa Poletti, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, she uh, posted photos wearing this wig and I was obsessed with it the second I saw it. There's another wig at this brand that I wanna get. I'll post a photo here, it is so stunning. I'm obsessed with the blue and orange ombre that's together with it, it is so pretty and I just, can't get enough of these wigs. These wigs are absolutely beautiful. Even though this one didn't quite meet my expectations, the purple one and the gray kind of ombre style is really, really stunning. It's really pretty. These wigs are actually pretty thick considering. The only thing that's kind of weird about this one is you can see the lace a little bit in the hairline when you have it just like sitting here, but when you have it on, you can't see it. So, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. This wig is absolutely gorgeous. It's super long. It's a little bit long for me. I don't really go for wigs that are this long usually, but I really liked the style of it. I love the purple shadow root to the minty kind of gray ombre. I thought that was really stunning. And I'm obsessed with this wig. This wig is my absolute favorite wig that I own to date. And I own some really fun wigs, but this one is my absolute favorite. So I'm really, really hoping that, oh, see, look, sheds. Ugh. I'm really, really hoping that this brand will come out with more wigs that are this style and are short and kind of curly and bobbed like this just because they are so cute and I want more. And <laughs> they don't currently have that many of like really colorful ones on their website. So I'm really hoping that they 
make more because <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this video was really short. I know this video was just a wig review on the brand I'm Style Wigs, but I just wanted to pop on here and give a big thank you to the brand for working with me and sending me these two wigs. I obviously paid for these wigs with my own money, but they let me choose the wigs that I got to choose in the mystery box, so that was really, really nice of them. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So I'm really, really glad that they worked with me. I'm really glad that they answer really quickly on Instagram. So like I said in my last wig video, Charisma Wigs customer service wasn't really that great. They left me waiting for about two weeks before getting a response, whereas I'm Style Wigs, I message them and they respond almost instantly. They have very good customer service and they're very, very friendly and very, very kind. So I highly recommend going to Instagram and checking them out because they are awesome. They post really, really cute photos of their wigs and they are just quality wigs that I'm really, really happy to purchase and pay for. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. And I will see you guys at the next video. Bye. Shut the fuck up.